Hey, what's up all? It's Jono here, and welcome back to the Twirling Purloin Show. Yep, that Purloin is still trying to get my attention by twirling around like that. Ah, oh dear. Maybe someday, Purloin, but... <laughs> yeah, you keep on doing what you do, Purloin. Anyway, no, that's not what we're here. This is not the Twirling Purloin Show. This is, of course, Pokemon Shield, and pretty much going to continue from uh, last time. So... A lot more of the wild area checked out last time, including a few Dynamax Pokemon battles again. And I think in this episode, pretty much the same once again. But this is definitely going to be the last full episode we'll spend in the wild area. Because as much as I want to see more of this place, I think we've seen pretty much almost enough of this already. Considering how many episodes we've been here already. But as I said... I could easily spend hours just wandering around here, just catching Pokemon, getting experience points. And I'll be doing that sort of thing off camera. But for the purpose of this Let's Play, we'll definitely spend at least this episode here. Uh, check out maybe a few more dens. Check out the one I didn't check out last time because I pretty much ran out of time. And maybe check out a little bit more this wild area. Although I think most of that area won't be... will be... A, pretty quick bit of exploring anyway because a lot of the Pokemon are a bit strong down there from what I remember. So we'll just do this one. Let's see what we have. Ooh, water and ground. Ah, well I've got the perfect Pokemon for that. Uh, Grookey. I think you're the best one to take care of this Pokemon. Water and ground type. Um, sounds like it's going to be a Wooper. It should be no problem for Grookey. Let's see who's going to help me. Yep, indeed it is a Wooper. And hey, this will be the first time we'll see uh, me Dynamax my starter Pokemon. Yeah, it's finally time to see what Dynamax Grookey can do. And there she is, Dynamax Grookey. Now, let's see what he could do with that max overgrowth against this Wooper. Oh, wow. Almost completely wrecked it in one move. Damn. I mean, obviously, I know it was going to be super, super effective against it, but that is still some serious damage. And you're going to start off a Solar Beam, which is actually a good move, but... Considering how weak it is already, it's, um, yeah, going to be too late for the Solar Beam. Wow. That poor Wooper didn't stand a chance, especially against my Grookey. So, that's, uh, that was quick and easy. <laughs> so, we'll get ourselves a Wooper to add to the Pokedex. And then what I'll do is, I think we will check out that den that I skipped on last time. Which I think had a Purloin in there. I think what I'll do, I'll give some of those experience candies to Pamchan. Just to level it up a little bit. Because obviously it's fighting type move. Is going to be effective against it. Anyway, well we've got some more candies. A big pearl. Nice. And waterfall. Ooh, yes. That will be very useful to teach to uh, Tootle. As it's a physical uh, type water, water move. Oh, I skipped on the uh, Pokedex entry there, but there you go, there's Wooper. So yeah, actually it might not be a bad idea, think about it. So, uh, I think that's pretty much all around here, that just goes back to where we were before. A bunch of uh, Timple, and I somehow did not see that low tab there. I'm sorry buddy, you kind of, you blended in quite well into the, into the grass there. I'm impressed. But no, we are... Done around here. I'm not going to uh, worry about battling against some of these Pokemon. Yeah, as I said, I think we'll just spend one more full episode on this because I think we've pretty much seen enough of the wild area. There's still obviously a little bit to check out there, but as I said, I think a lot of the Pokemon around down that way are going to be pretty strong. So I'm probably not going to have too many Pokemon encounters around there. But... 
Uh, we'll see. I kind of just want to go there just to collect some watts and also maybe find some interesting items, especially items to sell to get a lot of money. Uh, right, I think before we go in there, I kind of want to maybe level up Pan Chan a little bit. Maybe heal it as well, thinking about it. Yeah, uh, so I tell you what, that'll do. Also, uh, might as well sort, actually. So sort by type. Uh, might as well sort that as well. So I got a Y. Oops, wrong guy. Moved it too quickly there. So I'm going to move Barry there. Actually, I should have uh, done that, yeah. I should have uh, did that afterwards. So we got Shadow Ball from last time, I think. And uh, Waterfall, which... Uh... Oh, Chul can't learn. Oh, no, I think your Evolved Form can. That's right. I did teach Waterfall to your Evolved Form, which definitely helped later on in that playthrough. Uh, big pull, that'll be nice easy money, and a pungent root. Right, let me just uh, sort this out. So I've got rare candies, I've got quite a few extra small candies, so you know what, I think I might just use... Yeah, I'm just going to use all of them on Pancham, why not? Let's use all of them. Nice, straight up to level 14, and you want to learn Circle Throw. Alright, so let's see what it is, a 60 and 90, okay. In, in the wild, this ends a battle against a single Pokemon. Huh, I didn't know that. Huh, interesting. Okay. Well, let's forget Leah. We'll have that. So, Panchan's now level 14. That could be good. Tell you what, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to use one experience candy uh, small on pretty much all these other Pokemon. So, there we go. Gra wow, that was pretty effective. Uh, not on Growlithe. Let's just uh, level up. Let's just use one on each Pokemon. Tutor will learn Protect. Uh, actually, most of my Pokemon are pretty around the same level. So I'll tell you what, let's just use it one more on Growlithe. So everyone's roughly the same level. And, yeah, you know what? We're going to take a chance and see if we can take on this Purloin. Let's switch Pokemon. I think our best bet will be... Uh, Pancham. Yeah, your attack's pretty good, so we should be okay. We'll give it a go. Let's not invite anyone, and let's just see if we can catch this uh, Dynamax Purloin. Let's see who's going to help us. Just don't try and knock out my uh, Pan Jam too quickly, uh, Purloin. Sunlight turned harsh already. Okay, let's Dynamax and Max Knuckle. Why not? And let's see Dynamax Pancham. Yes, I know I said I was going to try and focus more on the Pokemon introduced in the like in this game, but I can't help but use some of my uh, previous, like, somewhat favourite Pokemon from previous games. And besides, at this stage in the game, I'm definitely going to be rotating my squad, like, a lot, so it definitely won't be until much later in the game before... I finally settle on what kind of Pokemon squad I'm going to have. Oh yeah, that was easy. That was easy. Nice. So let's throw a Pokeball at this uh, Dynamax uh, Purloin. And I think um, that'll be the last Dynamax Pokemon I can catch right now. I think there's one I skipped out on. But I'm not too worried about that. Although, if I get... If if we do see any more, I might do another one in this episode. But, as I said, I kind of just want to spend this last episode... Well, one last episode in the Wild Area before we finally move on to Motorstone. Because I think... <laughs> I think we're pretty much done around here. Uh, also, nice decent amount of items. More candies, berries, and throat chop. Ooh, that sounds nasty. We'll send you the box, even though I obviously already caught you, but eh, why not? Might as well battle you for the items and, you know, just for the hell of it. <laughs> I 
Yes, I caught your Dynamax friend. Are you jealous there, Purloin? Anyway, let's keep on going because we're finally actually very near the entrance to Motorstoke, but I kind of want to just have a quick look around just around this area. And uh, note about was interestingly, uh, took this long to find that actual note. Uh, anything around here? Any new Pokemon? More Pancham. Oh, hello. Uh, that's an Oddish, and that is a... Hang on a minute. I should actually switch Pokemon, actually. So, Pancham, you can go up front here, and we'll take on this Pokemon, which I've forgotten the name of. Stuffle! Thanks, Brain. I completely forgot about that. Right. Uh, let's see what kind of level you are at. Level 11, that's fine. Um, I don't want to use Circle Throw because I'll end the Pokeball battle, so that's kind of awkward. I'm going to use Baby Doll Eyes on me immediately. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, don't do it too many times, Pancham. I want to catch it. No, no, no. That, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Pancham. That was actually spot on. Love it. <laughs> oh, I might as well catch this stuff all while we're here. And caught. There we go. That'll level up quite a few of my Pokemon. Oh no, only just the one, although Growlithe's getting close to leveling up as well. Tutor's now level 15. Not too bad, and we'll read your Pokedex entry. The way it protects itself by flailing its arms may be an adorable sight, but stay well away. This is flailing that can snap thick tree trunks. Yikes, do not want to mess with that stuff all. <laughs> well, selecting Pancham was... Uh, a uh, good thing to do. Anyway, uh, ooh, don't quite have enough to get some of these. But I can actually afford some of these moves. Uh, almost. I can almost afford Shadow Ball. But I'm not looking to spend anything right now. Uh, so you are the Camping King. Okay. Uh, but I'm not going to do anything about that right now. Let's have a look around the shore because there's probably some more items and indeed there are more pungent roots. And you know what? We should actually do a spot of fishing. I don't think I've done any fishing yet. So, Yamper, you go at the top here and we're going to do a spot of... Oh, I skipped the tutorial. Yeah, this is the first time we've uh, done some fishing. So I'll tell you what, let's just uh, do a bit of fishing seeing as I completely forgot about it. And hey, a shelter. Nice to see that it's actually Shelter, not bloody magic got. So, this is already a million times better than what uh, we typically can find with a bloody fishing rod. Look at that Shelter, constantly sticking its tongue out at me. It's so rude. Like, really. It's such a rude Pokemon when you think about it, uh, Shelter. Ooh, I don't know if I can get away with doing another one. So let's just try and catch it now. It's only level 8, so it shouldn't be that difficult. Yeah, sure enough. Easy capture, no problem at all. That will level up Growlithe. I've got to say, all my Pokemon right now are pretty evenly leveled right now. Anyway, Shelter. Uh, what's your Pokédex entry? Its hard shell repels any kind of attack. It is vulnerable only when its shell is open, which pre it's just pretty much all the time, just so it can stick its tongue out at you. <laughs> uh, you have a pearl. Um, yeah, sure, place the item in my bag. I do like that it tells you. Like, if a wild Pokémon you caught has an item, it actually tells you that if you want to take it, I can't remember if that was a thing in the previous games. It probably was, but considering uh, a lot of the time, well, especially on my channel, I play, like, the older Pokemon games, then that definitely is not a thing that happens. It's very nice to see that, actually. And a Goldeen. Ah, that's nice. 
At least it's not Magikarp, because I remember pretty much the first however many times I used the fishing rod in uh, Pokemon Sword. Um, like in my Sword, uh, like my offline playthrough with Sword. Uh, every time I seem to use the fishing rod, I just kept getting Magikarp. Nice to see this is uh, different in my Shield actual YouTube Let's Play of this, so that's good. It's not going to be constant Magikarp. Anyway, let's just weaken Goldeen a bit more. One more nuzzle should do it. One more nuzzle, nuzzle, nuzzle! <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Using Super Sonic. Nope, but it wouldn't work because you missed, Goldeen. So I'm going to try and catch you. And I think with this capture, we'll uh, have a quick wander around one more area of this wild area. And then, as I said, finally, we'll check out Motorstoke. As I said, probably not in this episode, but definitely in the next one, because I think we're definitely done with this area now. Uh, anyway, so Goldeen, its dorsal and the pectoral fins are strongly developed like muscles. It can swim at a speed of five knots. So there we go, we've got ourselves Goldeen, and... Let's see, uh, Pancham and Stuffle again. I don't think there's any way down there. I have to go back round. Oh no, there is a way down there, but... Did I just see an item on the floor? Yes, I did, a Pokeball. There's a Zatu. I'm probably just going to ignore you for now. Yeah, I kind of want to go down... Uh, actually, no, I suppose it doesn't matter, really. Because I kind of want to get back around to the entrance to Motorstoke anyway. So I'll tell you what, let's go around this way. Uh, oh, I thought there was a beam of light still around here, but I guess it must have uh, disappeared over time because I know there was one that I avoided. Oh, hello, sudden pop in there. Go there's, oh, there's a beam of light all the way over there. Oh, but I can't be bothered going all the way that way. Besides, I think we've seen enough of uh, the Dynamax Pokemon right now, so I just want to have a quick wander around this area. Did I go in that corner up there? I don't think I did. So let me quickly go up to this corner. Oh, hello. I saw you sparkle in the ground there. Another Pokeball. Might as well collect some more what? Yeah, I don't think there's going to be any Dynamax Pokemon encounters uh, down there. Uh, you want a battle? Yeah, sure. All right. We'll have a quick battle against uh, Pokemon Breeder Chloe. Ah, that's right. I remember you. You're the one that has all three of the starters. Uh, not ideal, well, uh, uh, well, I wouldn't say not not ideal, but I mean, it's not going to be that great for Yamper. So let's switch to Growlithe. Yep, going to intimidate you, and... Oh, you're going to poke me with a stick. Oh dear, that's not going to do much damage, is it? Uh, Flame Wheel, on the other hand, should very much do a lot of damage. Oh my, yeah, very much so. Sorry, Grookey. That's leveled up Rookie D, and Grookey, and Yamper, and actually Pancham as well, all on the verge of leveling up as well. Hopefully, we'll see a few more level ups in this battle. Uh, you're going to send out Sobble, so I'm going to send out my Grookey and show you why my Grookey is the better Grookey. Speaking of which, my Grookey is very close to leveling up. Possibly, maybe even closing, getting close to evolve. Because a lot of the start Pokemon tend to evolve roughly around around level 16 or so, give or take one or two, depending on the Pokemon. Anyway, so a bit more uh, level ups here. Yampa wants to learn Roar. No, we'll keep the old moves for now. But as I said, if I, but if I change my mind, I could simply head back to a Pokemon Center and visit the move uh, Tutor and Deleter. Seriously, that is such a nice change to the game. Just having someone in every Pokemon Center to be able to have that make your Pokemon remember and forget your moves. And for free as well. That is something that should have been in the game a long time ago.
Yeah, Water Gun's not doing a huge amount of damage, sadly, because of your stats. I have a feeling Scorbun is probably going to knock out Tootle. We'll do one more Water Gun. Hopefully, you can survive this quick attack, and then I'll switch out. Yeah, definitely going to take at least two more. So, I'll tell you what. Let's switch Pokemon, because I kind of want to keep you, like, alive. Um... Tutel for the experience. Let's bring out Pancham. Okay, that's not too bad. We can get away with that. Let's use Arm Thrust. And you're immediately going to use Growl to lower my attack. I mean, that's kind of smart. Let's see how many times we use Arm Thrust. Three times. Oh, nice. Good job, Pancha. Very good job indeed. And that earns you a level up, which is definitely well deserved. Nice. Good job there, Pancha. Nice bit of money there. And yes, Grookey is evolving. Oh, sweet. We're evolving our Grookey before we've even done the first gym challenge. As I said, I like to spend a lot of time in the wild area. And there we go. Your Grookey evolved into a Thwacky. Nice. There we go. We got ourselves an evolution already. So, Thwacky, the beat Pokemon. When it's drumming out rapid beats in battle, it gets so caught up in the river that it won't even notice that it's already knock out, knocked out its opponent. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Uh, you want to learn double hits? Sounds like a move I might want to teach you. Let's have a quick look. Uh, the target is hit twice in a row. Power 35. Uh, Sounds that spectacular. But we'll have you learn it anyway because I don't. I've never. I haven't used taunt yet, so we'll forget taunt. We'll have you learn double hit, but it's probably not a move I'm going to keep around for that long anyway. Anyway, let's see what we've got around here. A bunch of Bunnelby, more Metapods. Let's just go and grab some what's here. Any hidden items around here? Yes, there is. I was going to say, this kind of looks like a, a nice area to possibly hide an item. Oh, there's another den right there. Uh, more Growlithe. Man, there's loads of Growlithe around here today. Uh, Tyrogue. And, yep, yeah, Growlithe chasing after me again. Uh, and just one random person out in the middle of nowhere. Um, yeah, alright, this better be good. Hmm, not the best, but... Well, I'll take it anyway. Right, uh, actually, we're quite near the train station, so I'll tell you what. Seeing as we're back here... Might as well uh, heal up our Pokemon. And then we'll check out a bit more of the wild area. But as I said, I'm probably just going to skim through uh, the rest of this bit of the wild area. But we'll definitely check out uh, this next bit of the wild area I'm about to check out in a later episode. Because I think a lot of the Pokemon in this next area, uh, in this other area, like wild area, are going to be pretty strong. Plus, obviously, the wild area goes beyond, like I see over there, just past the bridge there. But the Pokemon there are going to be very strong, so... Probably not worth venturing too far over, but there are going to be a few items to find around there, so... Might not be a bad idea just to have a quick peek in there, just to see. But, I think for now I'm just going to have a quick walk around here. Find, just find any uh, items I find on the ground, and also just activate any of those Pokemon dens, just to grab some more Watts to spend on. Uh, I think I just saw something sparkle there. Yep, a Pokeball. Uh, you're probably going to be pretty strong, so I'm going to ignore you. Let's see, a bunch of matchup. One random person who I remember seeing. Uh, you're just telling me where Motostoke is. Uh, I can quite clearly see where Motostoke is, so uh, I don't think you needed to tell me that, but uh, thanks anyway. Right, bit of energy, grab some of that. Uh, got a Machoke just appeared there. 
Uh, that looks like a Stunky, I see. As well as a bunch of Machop and also, I think, uh, I think I saw a Tyrogue there. Yeah, so we've got a Stunky. More items on the floor here. A Pokeball and a Tiny Mushroom. Some free money there. Uh, oh, a Skun Tank. Yep, definitely don't want to mess with you. You're definitely going to be high leveled. And a Kingler as well. Ah! Ah! I'm being chased by a Kingler! Help me! Oh, and a Crawdaunt. Yeah, these are going to be too strong, I think, for me. Uh, I suppose I could do a quick bit of fishing, just to see what's in here. Actually, forget that, because I just realised my Pokemon... Oh, no, it is Yampa. I thought, for some reason, I thought it was Growlithe up front. Okay, my mistake. I thought I thought, I thought thought I had a Growlithe up front, but no, it was Yampa. <coughs> so I could have um, carried on fishing, but you know what? It's fine. Ooh, and it's a little bit snowing here, so let's see what we have. Spikes, Dragon Claw, Energy Ball, but too expensive. I've already got two Tri-Attacks there. Now, I kind of want to save up my watts, and this is one of the reasons why I quite like going to the Wild Area. I just want to go around getting uh, some watts from these dens, even though they're only worth 30. Like, it's still, it's still going to add up, especially if I keep just coming back here every now and then. Especially between recording sessions. So, definitely worth constantly going around just to pick up. Ooh, a Greedent. Yeah, the evolved form of a Squirrelbent. You're going to be pretty strong. Yeah, level 31. And I can't get away. Uh oh, <laughs> he tried to use he tried to use spit up when he didn't even have anything. Right, let's just try and run. There we go. Yeah, so gonna be pretty strong. And that's just from a Pokemon that fell out of that tree. So I suspect, yeah, a lot of these Pokemon are gonna be pretty strong. But I only would just want to come round here just to have a quick look around the area, find some items, and also just check out some other variety of Pokemon you can find here. There we go, a revive. Always a good idea to have plenty of revives, so that's still worth coming around here. Anything around here? I don't see anything sparkle on the ground. Well, of course, we've got this item out in the middle of nowhere. Bulldoze. Alright, TM81, Bulldoze. Uh, lowers the speed stat to those hits. So there we go, we got ourselves a TM. Right, I'm just going to carelessly run through the tall grass, but we're fine. Uh, ooh, you're definitely strong. So I'm going to ignore you. More matchup, and I think that's a snow runt as well. Any items on the floor? I don't see anything, disappointingly. Oh, but I do see one clear visible item there. Grab some more watts. Uh, oh, serving of leftovers. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Le leftovers is always nice to uh, give. I mean, it doesn't restore that much health, but still, it's always nice to give to one of my Pokemon. And I think I'll give it to... Hmm. I'll give it to Fwacky for now. Uh, got a bunch of extra small ex experience candies there, but I'm not going to use them yet. Yeah, we're definitely not going to see any Dynamax Pokemon in these dens, because the Pokemon around here are definitely quite high leveled compared to the ones just across there, so... Probably not worth... Yeah, you're definitely going to be way too strong, buddy. I'm definitely going to ignore you. <laughs> I'm just going around for the watts. Yeah, I got 50 watts, which, uh, you know, as I said, it all adds up. This may seem like a lot of travelling, but it all adds up. So, we're just going to grab a few. And actually, there's an item right at the top here. So, let's have a look and see what this is. Ooh, a Thunderstone. Nice. Yeah, that's a snow runt. Oh, was that an item I just saw sparkle there? Or am I seeing things? Was it the snow, or did I see something sparkle on the ground? I think it was just the snow. Yeah, I think it was just the snow. I think I'm going crazy. And looking at the time, it's almost been 30 minutes, so this will probably be a good time to end this recording. Hey, a Great Ball! That's the first Great Ball we found. Nice. Another Zatu. I'm going to ignore you. And anything down here? Yes, there is. 
another big mushroom. And another big mushroom. Nice. Getting a lot of free money there. And we've got a few more. I say a few more. Might only just be the one more uh, Pokemon Den there. But we've got one berry tree here. How many berries? Two person. Let's shake one more. Five berries. You know what? That will be enough. We'll grab them. And we'll activate this den, and I think that will do... Wait, we'll check out those trees first, because I'm pretty sure there's going to be something hidden on the ground underneath these trees. And indeed there is. In fact, actually, there's a few items. There's one around here. Another revive. That's always nice to grab. So totally worth exploring. And we've pretty much almost gone full circle. Yeah. Anything under this tree before I end? Yes, there is. Another big mushroom, nice. Okay, so with that circle done, there's a light part, but I think uh, I might want to... Yeah, I think I'm going to avoid you, I think. So I think with that, I think that'll do for this episode. So we've pretty much gone around full circle. So next time, we're definitely going to be checking out Motostoke. We've definitely checked out enough of the wild area. I might have a quick peek just across the bridge, but I know that a lot of the Pokemon around there are going to be very strong, so it will be a very quick visit just to see if there's any items we can grab. I'm pretty sure there's a few items just across there, but it'll just be like for a couple of minutes, and then once we've uh, checked a little bit more out, we will definitely check out Motostoke in the next episode. So, for now... Thanks very much for watching everyone, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll be back very soon with some more Pokemon Shield. So until then, I shall catch you all later.